Okay, so I have to get to this story right here. Uh, this is featuring, of course, my favorite lawmaker in the world, Kirsten Cinema or Kyrsten Cinema. So, uh, new video just emerged discussing Obamacare in 2010. Cinema blasts Joe Lieberman for holding up Democratic bills and praises Democrats' ability to pass bills with 51 votes we're gonna see this in the video folks now after a decade in dc she's totally abandoned her principles and turned into lieberman 2.0 rt if you agree cinema is a sellout i mean this individual she was a green party member she was a member of uh code pink i believe and she has totally abandoned everything that she previously stood for she's like the definition of a sellout lieberman. but that's whatever um, yeah, and Nelson too, but really Lieberman. Um, so, so now there's, um, I, I think as the president so eloquently said on Wednesday, there's none of this pressure, this false pressure to get to 60. So what that means is that um, the Democrats um, can stop um, kowtowing to Joe Lieberman and instead seek other avenues to move forward with health reform. And so it's likely that the Senate will move forward with a process called reconciliation, which takes only 51 votes. And by the way, it's not unusual. You may recall that before the Democrats took the Senate in 2008, that the Republicans controlled the Senate for quite some time. In fact, since around 1994, they never had 60 votes and they managed to do a lot of really bad things during that time. So the reconciliation process is still quite available and we will use it for good rather than for evil. Um, so. so I never thought that I'd say this, but I agree with Kirsten Cinema. This version of Kirsten Cinema is based this version of kirsten cinema is correct but this is the pre-corrupted version of kirsten cinema and she is like calling out joe lieberman by name and now she's joe lieberman 2.0 it's infuriating it is infuriating because she knows what she's doing is wrong which is why when you listen to her justification for keeping the filibuster, I mean, it's it's almost incoherent. It doesn't make sense. She's really scrambling to try to come up with some sort of a justifiable defense, but she has nothing. And that's why the sellout is going to continue to be shamed and backlash and receive backlash. And how amazing would it be if people called her office and just left her a message with her voice talking about how they can use reconciliation to do good things and not evil things, as she said. Not pre-corrupted, just couched. Yeah, I think that that's probably fair, Governor Ka. Yeah. The, the, uh, the corruption was already there. It's just that the spark that existed hadn't been ignited yet. So, yeah.